today I'm trying to use this spider uh, fishing lure to see if it can catch a snakehead. These are horns, bro. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Do you guys see the fangs on that thing? Smell that though? We are uh, hitting some uncharted territories. Uncharted for us. We got Eli, the professional over here. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. In today's episode, I am going to attempt to use a spider fishing lure to catch fish. And we're gonna discuss just why fishing is so important to people on more than just a sports level. So for a lot of people, you know, fishing is not just fishing. It's not just us out here catching fish just to show off. I mean, that's part of it. That's the fun part. But at the same time, fishing is life and fishing can be a getaway, especially for people going through stuff in tough times. You know, fishing is a way to get away from it. Clear your mind for those few hours that you're out there. And today is no different. You know, my buddy Eli um you've seen him on the show a few times when we do bridge fishing and bass fishing he's been going through a really tough period in his life and uh decided to get him out get him out here on the water to uh go fishing because it's been a while for him and uh let's see if we can get him tight today let's see let's see how the day can go Are you ready for the next episode of CEO Fishing? Let's go get some coffee first. Cheers. Do you see what we just found? What is this? Damn! Let me Tell come on this side. Do you see what we just found, homie? <laughs> Yo. Somebody had a lobster fest. Somebody had a poaching Holy fest. Holy crap. Just, that is a lot of lobsters. Who just dumps lobsters? I just, where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You saw one? Yeah, where'd it go? I, didn't. I was too enthralled by the lobsters. Right now, I'm using a gambler lure from uh, the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle in Miami. Let's hey, man, go. You, Let's go. You go. Hey, real talk, man. I, I love you. You go, I go. It's been, it's been a minute since I've had even happiness like this. You just love my doggy style. Right in the way. Got him. Got him. On, oh, on the BFS. BFS first fish of the day, right here. Ooh! Oh, 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 he's pulling. He is pulling. Ooh! Come on, boys and girls, let's get this fish on land. It's actually a nice fish. Don't get the goop. It got all the goop. Didn't consider this part. Don't hold your hand. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, Woo! Oh! Don't. Not on the rocks. We like our drinks on the rocks, but not the fish on the rocks. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle their bellies. Look at that. First fish of the day. I just stepped in a dead animal. Uh, I literally, what is, what the hell? Oh, bro, these are horns. These are horns, bro. I just stepped in it. It's on my feet. That's a wild boar. Yo, that's crazy. That's his tusk. It's like Pumba. Pumba. Or Timon. Uh, I don't know which one it was. RIP Pumba. Max Fish Camp. Well, I slipped in it. Can I can I put those on my hat? <laughs> hey, we're finding all kinds of dead stuff out here. All right, we found another location in our exploration of South Florida down here. I see some Mayan cichlids right now. I got my Nyan's optic so I can see everything. And uh, this water is definitely more clear than the that last canal. A lot cleaner, huh? Yeah, it's cleaner. I mean, there's still algae and stuff and gunk on the surface. And just as we're arriving here, I've already found more dead animals. Check this out. This time, it is a fish carcass, but look at the teeth on that. Is that a fish from here? Piranha? Look at that. Is that a dead piranha? No, seriously, look at the teeth. Let me see. Look at the teeth on that. 
Do you got? Do you guys see the fangs on that you thing? Smell that though. Comment below if you know you what kind of fish this was. I, it smells like a frogfish. There was a frog that just... Oh God! I was just hooked up. Oh, that's what you get. In your face. That's what you get for farting on me. Uh, we won't tell no one that you're acting like a little. No, no, being too hot. Like, like, I don't know, guy, but uh, I think I gotta go home. I was like, hey. <laughs> hey. Like, I don't know what happened to me, man. Like, hey. it's, it's been a year since I went fishing. I, I can't handle this. I want to go sit on the sit on the couch. Oh again. yeah, that's what I want to do. Hey, but if you want to be skunked, be skunked, bro. I'm not gonna show the footage of us Dems be fighting not catching fish for the last hour. Dems be. <laughs> we both skunked for the last hour, but I got a fish already. So the truth is, I get tired of watching him casting at fish. So I just cast one time and catch him. <laughs> I gotta. Are you okay? I gotta show him how it's done. Let's rip this speed. Oh, something came off and chased me from there. Holy crap. On the other side of the weeds. Ah, oh, let's try this again. Off the lily pads. Got him. Woo! Got him. Oh, he came off in the grass. No, that was huge. I don't know, but it was way bigger. Got, 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 got a fish on the Livingston. On the Livingston. Got a fish on the Livingston. Beautiful colors on that fish. Little guy, but he's a gorgeous one. Like I said, it's, it's his first time being out in a minute for fishing. Yeah, so probably uh, about a... Uh... March? It was, yeah, so it was, it, it's yeah, been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. But now, let's let him tell a story about what's been going on recently in his life and why he needed to get out here and fish. My wife has epilepsy. And, you know, today me and Brian talked. She was she had, a, she had a good day. She had a good day. It's been about six weeks now. She's been, she's been going through it. So we ended up in, in urgent care, and we've ended up in the hospital about probably... I'd say a dozen times in the month of August. You have to understand she has epilepsy and she has what they call a vagus nerve stimulator in her chest. And that vagus nerve stimulator, if her heart rate goes up, she has a seizure or anything like that, it'll send a shock. It'll snap her out of the seizure. Neurologist at Baptist, thank you Baptist Hospital. We've looked at your brain, everything is fine. You have a viral infection in your face nerve and the battery in your vagus nerve stimulator is dead. She has been having about five hour seizures a day. She's been having what they call absent seizures. And absent seizures where you kind of just stare off in space. They're not violent, you know, the, the jerks and everything else. They're just eyes fluttering <clears throat> and things like that. Well, I have to work because we have bills to pay, right? You have them, I have them, Brian has them, we all have them. Well, I wasn't even gone for about an hour and a half when I got a phone call that she collapsed. This, this woman, she deserves a crown because somehow while she was having an absent seizure, she was able to carry our son. I don't want to get emotional right now, but she was able to carry our son to the next door neighbor and knock on a door and get our son to safety. While I was off trying to make money for the family. She collapsed and she ended up in the hospital again. And I've just been going through so many things with, with this, with my family and making sure my son's okay. But it has been really hard. Um, I'm, I'm so happy I'm out here right now with one of my good friends fishing. It makes my heart explode with happiness. Um, she's okay right now. And in about a week or two, they're gonna give her surgery to turn it back on. And it should be about another two to three weeks to get her back to where she needs to be. But we are happy and we're thankful that we're alive and we have a roof over our head right now. Um, and I'm fishing. I can't complain, you know? I'm with that, I'm with that crazy Asian, you know? My, my brother came and picked me up today and got me out of the house. Because I'll tell you right now, I haven't left the house in whew, for a long time. Um, but it, it has been, it has been one hell of a ride, guys. You know, if you guys wanna help donate to the cause, you know, Thank you. Contribute to the surgery or some some bills right I mean, now. It's for the until, bills. Yeah, it's, it's for the bills. I can't so, work. Can't leave the house. Yeah. So 
I'll put a link to their GoFundMe uh, in the description below. But right now, let's get back to some fishing because he's he's sad, and the only way to not make him sad is to catch a fish. It's to leave the camera. Yeah, well, Stop he's. Filming. Stop filming. Are you ever gonna catch one today, though? I brought you out for a reason, man. I brought you to my spot. Ah. These little dead end spots. Yeah, oh, that's what I thought you said. Oh, there you go. Holy! Nice. Got one! Oh. Ha. Woo! You spit that! Hey! Peacock bass, baby! Woo! Look at that! Get one, E! So I caught fish. I caught some fish, right? Hey, how, how, how was the fishing today, bro? Grunt, 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 grunt! <laughs> Hey, you know, you gotta you gotta knock the rust off. Not everyone can remember how to fish. I gotta knock the 40 pounds off. <laughs> he almost died today. It was brutally hot, like heat stroke and uh, and dehydration hot. Like uh, I think I sweat off probably about 15 pounds. Add that to the the deuce I was uh, <laughs> dropping this morning when I was on the phone with you. But uh, I say. Five. despite everything I'm in pain. but i had a good day i got out of the house thank you so much brother i love you that's all it's about bro it's on to day two time for me to try and catch a fish with a spider lure i am targeting snakeheads but if i were to hook onto a peacock bass or a nice large mouth or anything like that i'll be happy so i was given uh the heads up on just walking the lakes over here i do see a lot of fish mostly cichlids, mines and stuff. But that does mean that potentially that's a very good food source for snakeheads. Now I am noticing that the, uh, the legs on the spider are kind of getting caught up with the grass, almost like I'm snagging. And even though the hooks are tucked tight, I'm getting, getting vegetation and stuff stuck to it. The spider, I got it on the Kestro Elite, the Ultra, the BFS setup. So if I do hook into a big snake head on this, it's gonna be one heck of a fight. I'll tell you that much. Grab my glasses. I'll try to throw this uh, spider a few more times, but uh, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling the love. Like I said, I could be casting to a bunch of snakeheads. They're just not hitting a spider. So here's a location that I was told I need to hit. Still trying to use the spider. Ooh. All right. Large mouth on the uh, spider. Guess that works. That's not what I want. I want a snakehead. Probably should have targeted large mouths the whole time instead of snakeheads. That corner looks nice. Sometimes snakeheads will be in that really shallow water. Oh, there is something there. Oh, come on, baby. There's, there's something there. Let's go all the way across it now. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Well, it ain't snakehead candy, but here we go. Another bass chomping at the bit to get the uh, spider. Get him off your lips, buddy. No snakeheads for me today. We have been under a bunch of heat advisories and I just believe that the snakeheads were too hot to actually hit something on the surface. I only saw a few throughout the whole day and it just didn't seem like a day that I was gonna catch one. But you know what? 
there's always next time and i'll be back out there next week trying to catch my pb snakehead again i may or may not use this spider lure who knows but for this particular episode we're done so guys make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notification bells turned on and until next time keep your head up keep moving forward and tight lines Zzz.